Hello everybody, it is Sunday, December the 4th. I just pulled up to a coffee shop. I'm going to treat myself to a hot matcha latte because the last two mornings have been hectic wake-ups prime examples of ways that I wish to not wake up in the morning, that nobody should wake up in the morning, only because, quick story time, my sleep schedule has been so weird. Um, so I've been sleeping in, like I literally get my day going instead of like, you know, the 8 to 9.30 latest, now it's like my days start getting going from like 10 to 11 30 like by the time I get ready by the time I wake up the only issue with that is when I do wake up that late after like a choppy night of sleeping and Winston and physical physical impediments I don't know what to call them um it's just very uh how do you say uh hectic my day starts right away so there is no sitting down and enjoying coffee it's like waking up feeding dogs letting dogs out making myself a coffee and it's just uh <clears throat> it's just too much it sets up your day for like for me like anxiety like I'm anticipating what's next you know and everything feels rushed so I'm slowing it down and I thought no better way than sipping on a hot matcha. So that's where I'm going to go. I just finished up at Whole Foods. It was an absolute zoo in there which is to be expected because that time of year and I have one more thing to do and then I'm done for the day of errands and it's really not that late considering well I did wake up early but no I think the trick is waking up early being a morning person so lesson learned, the epiphany has struck. Marsha, go to bed at eight o'clock when your body says you're tired and wake up early. Stop bitching. I'm not bitching, I'm just thinking out loud, honestly, I'm not bitching. Okay, we finally left the house. I didn't vlog the packing because there was just too much and I'm like huffing and puffing I'm like going up and down the stairs my dear friend um, is watching the dog so I made sure the house was all presentable for her and wasn't gonna wasn't gonna vlog all that behind the scenes stuff so at just before five we are hitting the road feels nice
everybody welcome to day I'm not even gonna day them anymore because it's already getting <coughs> excuse me it's already getting all sort of so welcome to another vlogmas video currently Mark and I came into the cutest little cabin retreat that is just what I feel like our souls needed. It is about two hours north of the city and it is just, it's, it's perfect, it's the cutest. We have been like zen all morning, detoxing, reconnecting. I feel like if I knew that it was more of like a detox yoga-esque place, because that's not at all what I thought this was, I would have bought like more juices and more cleansing material but nonetheless we'll definitely be back here so we're just we're just vegging I will give you a little tour not sure where the day will take us but that's perfect I just finished up a little morning yoga stretch because there's like a cute little situation behind me and there's like a diffuser a cute little woven tree and uh, yeah I feel like such an old-school vlogger I'm holding my camera but yeah I'm gonna get ready I'm gonna go wash my face maybe hop in the shower it is a gloomy day but that's all right and uh, I'm gonna see where the day takes us couple nights was not enough here. Um, I'm so happy that I found a place nearby that brings this feeling on. Um, I did learn. There was a smell that I was looking for for months, dare I say years even. And I never bothered asking anybody because I was like, I'm so pleasantly surprised when I walk into a yoga studio or a crystal shop and it has this smell. I found out what the smell was here. And <laughs> I don't know why I want to keep it like a secret because it seems like the only person that thinks that this scent was a secret is me. Um, but it's sage essential oil who would have thought certainly not me I always thought it was like like I burn sage but when it's in an oil form it smells like Mark always makes fun of me for lighting incense that's like patchouli or whatever or sandalwood and I'm like that's not what I think of when I think of crystal shop I think of like this smell and it's sage. So guess who's going to stop off at sage and buy some? This, this Chiquita. Um, <clears throat> speaking of diffusers, I find like 
mine doesn't work. We've got two. I should talk to the ladies at Sage. I know what they're going to say, though, and I'm never satisfied with that answer. Am I, have I been out of focus this whole time? Yeah. Oh, well. Um, yeah, that's it. It was a lovely little stay, not too far from the city. The Nook. Oh, so good. We'll be back. I'll definitely be back. Mark will too. He liked it. This was his like little birthday shenanigan. <laughs> a little birthday slash baby moon getaway.